Up next, Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, Armadillo, Build-A-Figure Wave, Doctor Strange from the movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now let's talk about it. What up party people in the place? I am the Ruckus and these are my toys. On deck, we have Doctor Strange from the upcoming Marvel Studios film Spider-Man No Way Home from Marvel Legends, the Spider-Man Armadillo Builder figure wave. So what you see is Doctor Strange in his packaging, clear clamshell, you can see the figure fully displayed with his accessories and the Build-A-Figure piece. As far as the packaging itself, you see that it reads Build-A-Figure Armadillo, Marvel's Armadillo in the upper left. You got Legend Series, below that Marvel Studios, Spider-Man No Way Home. This is an MCU movie-based figure. And of course you got Doctor Strange, spot varnished on the bottom. Looking at the sides, you've got artwork of Doctor Strange and a Spider-Man emblem at the bottom there on the back some more dope artwork of uh not artwork it's actually uh, if it's artwork it's lifelike i'm going to go ahead and set a photo illustration of dr strange got marvel legend series dr strange and you've got the readout which is possessing vast magical knowledge and skills to call upon earth's master of the mystic arts steps onto the battlefield and then You've got that same readout in different languages. You've got the uh, Armadillo Builder figure lower left. Next to him are the seven figures in this wave, six of which you need to build Armadillo. You do not require the integrated suit Spider-Man, which is the first figure you see in the lineup to build Armadillo. You have a bunch of legalese at the bottom. You've got more artwork. On the other side, you've got a spider logo spot varnished on top. You've got legalese on the bottom. So that's what it looks like in packaging. We're gonna see what he looks like out of packaging. Doctor Strange comes with the head to the armadillo. So we'll take a closer look at the head as well as the rest of the figure once we've got him completed. So we've got Doctor Strange out of the packaging and he is in the attire that he's portrayed in the upcoming film No Way Home. And um, it's uh, not too different from past iterations of Doctor Strange MCU I'm speaking on. But um, still, I mean, he's he still has the, uh, the Eye of Agamotto, the Eye of Agamotto, a.k.a. the Time Stone. The question is, is the Time Stone within the eye of Ogamoto, within that uh, that uh, necklace he's wearing. Um, because uh, we saw what happened to it last. We saw the, uh, the time stone. Um, he's got the cape. I can tell you right now, the cape is separate in packaging. And um, because of how it overlaps on Doc Strange's shoulders, it has a long peg in the back. It is a little cumbersome to get in, but you can do it and... Um, once you get it in, Doc Strange looks great. So um, having said that, let's take a closer look. So we've got Doc Strange up close and personal and uh, trying to uh, gauge his likeness. And um, I uh, I can see Benedict Cumberbatch in the head scope big time. Um, I think this is possibly the best, the best photo reel of Doc Strange of Benedict Cumberbatch that we've gotten to date. Looks pretty good. Uh, very excellent likeness. Definitely see him on the angles. For real. He does look good. Hair looks looks nice. No wash in it, but it still 
Looks pretty nice as far as the rest of the figure's concerned. He's got uh, the, uh, the the draperings of, uh, of, a, uh, of the, um, what am I trying to say here? Of the attire Doctor Strange is normally seen in. Uh, you, you've got the, uh, the Ayavaga motor right there. It's painted in a, a gold paint. And the necklace, you could see it uh, goes up one side on his right side, our left. It's in red. Um, and then it uh, changes color midway through into like a grayish. And um, when it comes out on the other side from underneath the cape, you see a gold. There's, there's a speck of gold there. Um, that's intentional. That's like part of the necklace. It's supposed to be that way. And uh, yeah, you don't have any paint apps per se on the... Uh, the costume that does there is um, black um, there's a black wash lines uh, streaks if you will going down the costume uh, going to his belt his belt is brown the the uh, all the supposed metal parts are painted silver at least in the front there that you see that right there the uh, the uh, the latch that uh, keeps the uh, belt all together that's in silver you see some silver down below there, and uh, that's about it. There's no silver right there. There, that's his uh, whatever you call that uh, the uh, the uh, the sling ring. I believe that's what it's called, and uh, it's uh, right there on the side there. Unfortunately, there's no paint apps on that. It would be nice because um, you could actually miss it if you're not looking for it. Uh, he's got um, paint apps all around his. His, his uh, forearm bands, they're in brown, as you can see, both sides, looks pretty good right there. Uh, going further down, nothing, no, uh, no paint work on the boots, they're just uh, in that black. As far as Doctor Strange's cape is concerned, he's got nothing going on in terms of paint apps on the cape, but you do see all of this detail going on with the cape and uh, spinning him back around. He's got, uh, if you can peek in there, there is some texture going on on the interior of the cape. But other than that, that's all you're actually gonna get in terms of paint apps. So uh, that's, uh, that's our MCU No Way Home Doctor Strange. For the sake of demonstrating Doc Strange's articulation, I have removed the cape because as you could no doubt tell, with the cape draped over his shoulders that was going to impede arm movement big time so here we go his head is on a dumbbell joint so you can get you get an attitude you can 360 it uh, you see how his dive model is just all over the place he can look up that far let me get the eye of out the way it's choking him he can look down that far. Like I said, you've got the attitude side to side like that. As far as his arms, he can get it to 90 degrees. He can rotate 360, but of course that's not going to happen when you have that uh, cape on. He's got the bicep swivel. He's got double jointed pinless elbows. He's got a wrist hinge swivel and hinge I should say it hinges horizontally he has a diaphragm crunch that's pretty difficult it wants to snap back that's because of his attire over it it's uh, forcing it to snap back but if, if it was going to stay you could get him to go that far as far as going back he can go back that far and you get your rotation at that diaphragm joint none in the waist in terms of his hips, you know you're not going to get too much because of his attire. So you're only going to get the splits that much. In terms of going far, you would have to try to move his attire out the way to get his legs up. But as it is, this is about all you're going to get. He has double jointed knees. They are pinned. You only got the pinless treatment with his elbows. He's got a boot cuff. He could point his toe that far up that far and he does have ankle pivot peg holes on the bottom of his feet out of packaging Dr. Strange comes with a pair of spell casting hands and he does come with 
two additional pair of hands. One set being, I guess, technically their trigger finger hands, but um, I guess uh, because it's Doctor Strange, you could play it off like their uh, different types of uh, spell casting hands. And of course, he's got the highlight of this particular set. These, there can be no mistake in what they're used for. These hands, these are definitely spell casting hands as you've got Doctor Strange uh, broadcasting his his spells, his magical shields, if that's what you want to use them for, or to just show him manifesting some type of spell in general. But yeah, this is a, this is an excellent uh, pair of hands right here. That's two sets back to back from this Spider-Man Armadillo wave where the highlight of the set were a pair of the hands. Here we have Doc Strange, MCU, lined up with Dormammu 616. But uh, yeah, I don't think they'll be making a figure of the MCU Dormammu anytime soon. So yeah, oh, and if I didn't mention it, this is Dormammu from the Super Villains wave. Here's Doc Strange with the only other figure I've reviewed in this wave, Gamerverse from PS5, Miles Morales. So to sum it all up, we've got another Doctor Strange. He's going to be in the upcoming movie No Way Home. It is an MCU version of Doctor Strange. We've gotten several iterations of him previously. Um, so if you're uh, not a completionist, an erotic completionist like myself, this could be an easy pass for you, even though I don't think it is, simply because of these hands. That's why I left them on, because this is dope. We, I mean, Hasbro is uh, starting to come out of their bag with uh, with um, different types of accessories, types of, of energy effects, magical effects and stuff. And um, I know a lot of times they uh, pull out the stops for their movie versions of figures, but um, hey, take what we can get. I'm quite sure we could use these hands with the 616 Doctor Strange, which I know we're going to be getting soon because of his upcoming movie. So, um, yeah, um, I think that's great. Uh, he's got pinless elbows. He didn't get that treatment for the knees, but uh, Hasbro has told us that they would be picking and choosing where they do knees or elbows or both. In this instance, we got the elbows. They were different. So um, the legs are um, a reuse anyway. So that's one of the reasons why they, they are pinned. It is what it is. He's got... Um, decent paint apps. I like the uh, the metal highlights on the belt and um, the Eye of Agamotto, that necklace is uh, banging with the paint apps. It's gold and it's got the, uh, the a, a red band on the, on the right side, our left of the uh, of the necklace. It's pretty good. The head sculpt looks spot on to Benedict Cumberbatch um, from all angles. Uh, this is just, it, it's dope. It's, um, it's, a, it's an excellent figure. Uh, yeah, if you just don't want to buy another Doctor Strange, then you could pass over it. But I think that if you invested in it, you will not be disappointed. The hands, the energy effect hands alone is worth the price of admission. And uh, I'm going to let that be my execute. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Till the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Peace.